the current is a positive current flows to the top plate and from the top plate over to the anode. Now, even though in the last shot all the switches functioned well, we still got a negative pulse. So I sat with Sai and I said, how could this happen? And I thought to myself, the only logical way this could happen is if there's a short circuit running outside. Yeah, we saw that in a previous video. Running outside of the, the uh, spark plug. Now, in the previous video, I was talking about a short circuit running along uh, the inside of the switch from uh, here to uh, here. Okay. Same material, different part. Let me put the spark plug together. So and what is this insulator made of? This is Lexan oh. and this is ceramic. Okay. So if we put the spark plug together, now I'm not using the screws that hold it in place because mm -hmm. that will take more time. Yeah, that, that part keeps falling down. What is that? This is the part that actually screws into the top plate. Uh -huh. So the border between the outside and the inside of the switch mm -hmm. would actually be here. If we screw everything together, this sticks out considerably more. So what we're talking about is a short circuit that goes from this part to this part. So some of the current would not flow through the switch at all, but would flow directly to the anode. So I said to Syed, well, if there was such a short, we should have seen the marks because arcs are concentrated energy and they always leave marks. And Syed said, well, I have seen some marks, but I didn't think much of them. So we took a look at the marks and I don't know whether we can show them on video because they're pretty small. But can we see these little marks here? Yeah. So these are clearly arcing marks. Mm -hmm. And the arc extends, the reason it doesn't extend all the way back here is because we had a rubber guard, which was supposed to protect against arcing, but wasn't doing its job and the arc extends along the rubber to the ceramic, goes underneath the lexan, and then arrives at the uh, base where it can travel directly to the anode. So this is how it's supposed to look. And the ceramic is having a surface breakdown. Now, we looked up in the literature, and as I said in the last video, ceramic is not the best material. We should have picked uh, probably Teflon. Mm -hmm. 